What's up guys? I'm Boo Carlisle. Welcome back to the championship edition of the Cars Tour Vlog. We crown a, a champion today here at the Caraway Speedway. It's bright, it's early, it's cold, and there's my guy, Bobby Mack. He'll be a threat to win today. So uh, riding with Jacob Hefner today, but we will keep an eye on the Brendan Queen, Carson Quapple situation just to see 19 points is what separate them. So uh, like I said, it's real cold. Once Hefner and them gets here, we'll get started. We'll talk with Keeley, get some word on what next year is going to be. So let's have some fun today, man. It's the last one of the year. Let's get started. Everybody's starting to get unloaded. Planning about how cold it is. <laughs> there comes the heater up now, so it'll get a little warmer. Good Lord, turn the heat on. There ain't no uh, qualifying or practice today, if you didn't see our earlier video with the uh, portraying uh, Brendan Queen and Carson Quapple championship battle, but all there is today is racing. In about five hours, we drop a green. Riding today with the frozen Jacob Hefner of the 95 at a Carroll Speed Shop. Man, just cold as you ever been at a racetrack? Uh, no, not You're quite. going to the carton days, yeah, I know. You're going to go to legend it's, days. It's been, it's been colder, but uh, it was colder yesterday and the day before, so it feels a little oh, bit Oh, so it's going to be a little... Uh, heat warm up yeah, today then yeah. got a warm front a moving in today race so hopefully it's not too cool well man what's the plan today to finish the year out it's been a little bit of an up and down year just looking to finish it on a positive note yeah. today yeah i think so i mean we've, we've gotten better right here towards the tail end of the year and i i like to think that we could you know improve on that a little bit here today um this isn't one of my favorite racetracks definitely not my best racetrack but i mean so far, we're off to a better start than we have ever been here, so maybe we'll have a solid day out of it. This place is known, man, for those restart pileups. Somebody don't go. Yeah. Is there, I mean, have you and Justin talked about, you got a plan, do you lay back, do you stay right on them, just so? Yeah, we. Uh, I got in a really bad wreck here at the 30,000 or a win race at the beginning of last year because of that, because the leaders didn't go on a restart. And, uh, yeah, you, I mean, from where I'm starting in 10th, probably just take it easy on that initial start. Maybe lay back a car or two off the guy in front of me just to uh, just to uh, plan for any stack ups. Um, but I think once you get kind of towards the tail end of the race, if you get closer to the front, you just got to stay on top of them and, and do your best to stay out of anything if it happens. Hey, is this place hard on tires? Because we know you've been good at conserving tires this year and uh, coming on late at the end. Is, would that be a strategy today? I, I don't know if quite if you're gonna ride all the way back, but I definitely think that you, you gotta save some. It's, I'd say it's a little bit worse than a hickory on tires, uh, for, for, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't have a lot of grip for some reason off a of turn two. I feel like everybody seems to get a little free off of two. Um, but I, I'd say it's, it's definitely not easy on tires. Of course. Mark, you from Phoenix, Arizona. Mark, you came all the way from Phoenix, I Arizona, did. yesterday to this beautiful place over here at Caraway Speedway. Well, how much have you slept? Not a lot. Not a lot. Just a little cat nap here and there on the plane. But Flew yeah. into Charlotte this morning, basically. Yeah. Landed a little before 630, went straight to the car, and then stopped till I got here. Your commitment to the Cars Tour is absolutely unmatched. Something like that. Yeah. What were you out there in Phoenix for? Arca, Arca wasn't it? Arca West. Yeah, Arca you was out there officializing, making sure everybody was doing what they needed to be yeah, doing. Getting the championship finale wrapped up for them. Now I'm here for championship day for the car store. You just going to sleep all day tomorrow? Probably. <laughs> engine warm-ups go on we'll get you a quick look at the four tenths mile of a uh, caraway speedway <laughs> took a quick walk around while i was up here just to bask it all in just want to take some time to thank keely and jack and uh kip for for letting me do the car store vlog this year man it's been a, a dream come true so uh, just took a little time while uh, got a lot of downtime to bask it all in and enjoy it, man. It's been a 17-week uh, dream come true. So uh, thank you very much. Hopefully they'll have me back next year. If you like what I've been doing, let them know about it. Call the office. Let them know. Hey, we won't be back next year. But uh, let's get back down there and talk to some folks. Ask them that uh, time for the question of the week. You put up Christmas decorations before Thanksgiving or after Thanksgiving? I don't put up no damn Christmas decorations. I'll go on and tell you that. I'm not a... Uh... I'm not in tune with my decorative side. Um, you ain't a Santa Claus fan? No, I mean, I'm a Santa Claus fan. I, I love the season, you know, 
get kids, you know, presents for the kids and everything else. But uh, if you want me to decorate some stuff, you, you might as well hang it up because it ain't gonna look right. I'm not color coded at all. Like it's just, it ain't gonna happen. Now, if you want me to drink beer and tell you how good of a job you're doing, I'm your guy. I do it all day. You know, I'll cook you a turkey, a ham, whatever. I'll be outside with the grill. Um, and, and we'll eat and look at the decorations after the fact, but I ain't. Speaking of, man, y'all got y'all's turkey cook-off. We can watch on Facebook this year. You and Big A and your daddy, y'all gonna do it again, Harold? Yeah, I need to, uh, I need to jump in on the, on the, on the cook-off. I've been kind of slacking. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if I'll be able to this year. I got, uh, the old rotator cuff surgery that's coming Thursday, so I'll be, I'll be out of commission for a little bit, but, uh, I don't know. I think it'd be pretty cool for old Gimp to drag your ass on a turkey cook-off, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> You gotta celebrate the turkey day. All right, that's you gotta celebrate Thanksgiving. You gotta be thankful. But I think after Thanksgiving is when the Christmas tree goes up. That is for sure. After Thanksgiving, definitely before. I'd say like a little bit before Thanksgiving. Just a tiny bit. Can't it can't be like right after Halloween though. Yeah, I'm like I'm like a day before Thanksgiving type of gal. Black Friday, go buy it all, discount it, and pop it in the living room. Day after Thanksgiving, game on. Get the tree, decorations up. I think the only right way to do it is do it after Thanksgiving. Uh, there's been some some years I've left them up all year round, and some years I've completely forgotten, so I'm a little bit of everywhere. <laughs> In my opinion, after Thanksgiving, because why? I, we're, we're, I feel like we're jumping ahead of the holiday. We gotta we gotta do them all in order. So I, I say after Thanksgiving. After Thanksgiving. You know why? Why, preacher? Because it's too commercialized. I'm gonna get quick right on it after thanksgiving hang the things up put the lights out and then i take them down january 7th okay well they hardly go up at my house but my girlfriend started taking hers out last week so we're, <laughs> we're ready to go over there depends on when thanksgiving is and if there's a race that weekend if there's a race that weekend it probably is going to happen after if i'm off that weekend i'll probably go ahead and take care of it best holiday so we got to take those down first uh, right before Thanksgiving probably a couple days before we'll start putting stuff up but we have this tradition in the Grady household of after we eat uh, Thanksgiving dinner we all go outside and put the rest of them up as a family so that's our uh, tradition with it well it totally depends on deer season uh, this morning it is they've got me out here at before 9 a.m. or before 8 a.m. at the racetrack and usually I'd be deer hunting right now so it depends on when we're deer hunting but typically, it ends up being before Thanksgiving. My wife's a big Christmas fanatic, and uh, she put me a Tennessee volunteer's tree in the basement last year, so I'm cool with it. So I'm good with whenever, typically before Thanksgiving. Usually after Thanksgiving. So uh, that depends on my lovely wife. Uh, I am a Christmas person, so uh, I would say, if I had to guess this year, we'll probably be before because we had Halloween up pretty early, so I don't see why Christmas would be any different. Do you put up Christmas decorations before Thanksgiving or after Thanksgiving? So I think this should be a question directed at the girlfriends of the drivers, but due to racing, it has to normally go up before because we're racing all the way through Thanksgiving and into the December, it seems like. But um, I, I always say the day after Thanksgiving, but we're normally at Kenley, so girlfriend makes sure they're up though. Man, with your personality, I figured you'd have Santa Claus on the roof, a little plastic oh, I, one. Oh, I listen to Christmas music on the way down here. I ain't even gonna lie to you, so I'm, I'm ready. I'm, what? I, I actually was listening to the Philadelphia Eagles uh, linemen. They did their own Christmas album last year, so I uh, was jamming out the Jason Kelsey and Lane Johnson and Jordan Mulata. What's your favorite Christmas song, Butterbean? Man, I love the I love the Charlie Brown Christmas music. Like the Beach Boys, a little saying that. Well, that was a good, fun question of the week. You know, let us know in the comments below when you put Christmas decorations up, man. There seem to be a lot of passionate people about it. Well, let's get back to our feature touring driver of the week, Jacob Hefner, as uh, he popped a question a few weeks ago. So let's go uh, talk to him and his uh, future soon-to-be bride about the uh, special day coming up in 2024. Now we're here with the two love birds that just uh, popped a question a few weeks ago. Jacob, talk about, uh, hey, man, you... Got bigger things coming up in life. Tell everybody what's going on. Yeah, we're getting uh, getting married towards the beginning of next year, so I'm, I'm excited. You know, uh, always something you, you dream about, you know, 
growing up and then, uh, you know, finding someone you love and uh, start the rest of your life. And puts up with you racing. Yeah, yeah, she, she, she sometimes she thinks she loves it more than I do. You know, she, we're always at a racetrack. I think about every weekend, whether I'm racing or not, we find a racetrack to go to or we're watching a race on TV. Well, you so. were smart. You found one in a racing yeah, family. Yeah, so, I mean, racing is pretty much our life. Absolutely. Tell everybody about how quick this has got to happen because we had to do it around a racing <laughs> schedule. So we had to work around a race schedule because, I mean, he wouldn't show up if I did it on a race yeah. weekend. My family wouldn't show up if it was on a race weekend. So I had to make sure I had let him get the dates for the car store. And then I was like, okay, we'll work around this. And we are actually in between two weekends next year in March. So this is real quick. I mean, we're four <laughs> months away, four you know. Away. He popped a question. You went looking for the dress <laughs> 10 minutes later. So, so what is the big day? Tell everybody when the big day is. March 16th. So Jacob, he'll be a married man when we roll into uh, March 23rd next yeah, year. So. Well, season opener, we'll be married with the fall. Yeah, yeah, you got it. <laughs> that series founder, Jack McNally, out here sweeping the racetrack. Ain't no job Jack won't do. Make sure his competitors got a good race facility. Going to have get cars lined up on track this morning. Hey, Butterbean Queen, man, starting on the pole today. Sleep good last night? I did. Uh, we went out for Nicole's birthday. Where'd you take her to? I know we talk about it. Oh, uh, we went to the Longhorn. So oh, you took her, some, some you took her somewhere fancy, man. Yeah, I got her a filet, and uh, she got some mac and cheese with it, and it was good, man. And uh, it's always good when you can go to bed knowing you're going to start on the front row. But... <laughs> so, man, do you look at any, anything different today than yesterday? I mean, you kind of know what you got to do. We're here to win, or win the race. And, Plain and simple. You know, hopefully next year we'll be the guy leading it and and, and it'll be ours to lose. But this year, you know, we're going to put up a fight to the end. That was our goal all year long, and I think we've done that. Jacob finishing up the uh, autograph session. We'll go ahead and pull in his 10th starting position. Get lined up for 125 laps. Pro late models will go first. We'll just hang out over here with Hefner and the Carroll Speed Shop team while the Pro late models race. They got the modifieds lined up back here on the back stretch. Big day of racing here at Caraway Speedway. Already had some cars tore up coming down through here in the pro race, so we're starting to get a little calamity down through here. Cut, flew in from Phoenix, Arizona, just won the Pro Late model race, racing a truck race last night. Now it's time to go 125 lap racing with Jacob Hefner. Cars tour season finale. A quick race, everybody running to the cars now, try not to get run over. All the drivers and crews get ready for the late model stock race. Into the top 10, into the top five, if he got towards the front, he would certainly be one of the drivers that could challenge Keenan Crawford for the victory. Once he made that pass, but he won't mind, he won't care. He'll come out and celebrate an Edelbrock victory lane as a winner at Cowboy Speedway in the Pro Late Model. So can you also just discuss the differences between the Late Model and the Pro Late Model round? And honestly, at the end, I almost had a great time. And he rounded out his season with the top five finishing in the fourth position, as well as George Phillips, who finished in fifth. Uh, this afternoon. Bing King was sixth after a battle with one of his eight. Michael Richfield involved in that incident but kept his car out of the racetrack at ninth. 
and unfortunately cars that did not see the end of this one. founder of Solid Rock Carriers, Mr. Kirk Ipock, and his lovely life win. Before we get going, we have a special presentation on behalf of Jack McNelly, Keely Dubinsky, and everyone at the Cars Tour. We got a little present here, a banner with signatures and messages from friends and family across the series who wanted to thank you all for your support of the Solid Rock Carriers Cars Tour here in 2022 and 2023. So that will be going home with you all, but for now... We've got a race to start. So, for the most famous words in motorsports, please welcome founder and owner of Solid Rock Carriers, Kirk Ipock, and his wife, Lynn. Drivers, start, start your, your engines. <laughs> And for one final time here in 2023, we'll let the pace car dive off. They will work their way into the KRC Power Steering Start Zone. Queen will get us going for the final race of 2023, and we are racing here at Carroll.
Carson Quapo won the championship. Butter Bay won the race. <laughs> Well, that's over with. Yeah, I'm glad. Uh, ready to get next year started and just a uh, frustrating day. I, didn't, I felt like we were okay and then this track position, you can't pass here, single group racetrack, so it's hard to hard to pass except for restarts and we got hung out on a few restarts and just, uh, we came in, tried to try to strategy, maybe see if we can't get some more drive in it and it just didn't work. It wasn't, wasn't our day, wasn't wasn't our year, but I mean, we're gonna keep fighting hard. Um, I'm, I'm confident for next year. We'll see what we can bring. What does that say to you about? I'm gonna look at Bryce Winter, Brendan Queen. I just you know appreciate them and you know Dale and that whole organization. It's been fun to race against them, and I feel like everybody come in and try to help us. Keep an eye on the Astro Waffle House News in a few hours. You will likely see underneath there is the 2023 winner of North South Carolina. Listen, all guys celebrate with Josh Williams at the He didn't win the battle, but he won the war. Carson Quaffle, 2023 Cars Tour champion. Winning still feels just as good, no matter what you're walking into in terms of trying to find some continued success in late model stock car racing with this Lee Polia performance team. And it has been, uh, I mean, year unfolded for both Brendan Butterbean Queen, the race winner, and Carson Qualpo, the champion. You know, Carson had that stretch where he won three races in a row to start off the season, uh, both Florence, Hickory, also going out to East Speedway, and then kind of hit this little bit of a lull after Brendan Butterbean Queen won at North Wilkesboro, and that was pretty much what catapulted him up into championship contention. And then Carson Award made late for this 12th Connor Hall, the 2023 Advanced Auto Parts Weekly Series champion, 13 Dillon Awards, 14 Dillon Awards, and as a guy, Keely telling them, come on up here for the championship celebration. What does that mean to you? Come on. Brother Caden Quapple come up here get a picture with his big brother Carson as the uh, Quapple brothers won uh, both cars tour championships this season in the pro late models and the late model stock. And with that, that'll wrap up the 2023 Solar Dark Carriers Car Store season. So congratulations to the Quapple family, Butterbean, to everybody that was involved, man. We was a traveling circus for 19 weeks this year. So, uh, hey, what a time. Maybe we can run it back next year. But thank you to everybody, including uh, the IPOC family for the Solar Dark Carriers sponsorship. But other than that, big thank you goes out to Jack McNally, Keely Dubinsky, Kip Childers, Dale Jr., Jeff Burton, the whole ownership group for what a time. But y'all know what to do for more car store content. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you next time. Take care.